Hi there, I'm Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today's tutorial is the Catherine's Wheel Wave Blanket Pattern. This is something I've designed using the classic Catherine's Wheel Stitch, which is basically this design right here. And I've added extra rows of double crochet and extra rows of single crochet. I'm using a size H hook. This is my Susan Bates Comfort Grip and I bought it at Joann's. And the yarn that I like to use is Karen Simply Soft. You can find it on yarnspirations.com. And um, this color is light country peach. And I also am obviously using white. So for today, I always think the best thing to do is start with a swatch whenever you're learning any new blanket stitch or design. So today I want you to put 37 chains on your hook or start with a chain length of 37. And that is a pattern repeat of 10 plus six plus one for the turning chain. So you can make your blanket any width that you would like as long as you chain it to a multiple of 10, then add six, and then add one for your turning chain. So for today, we will do 37 chains. And I think that'll give us enough space to learn the um, Catherine's Will stitch. Okay, with those extra rows of double crochet. Ah, oh, got a little lint on that. Okay, let's see. I will get my 37 on here and I'll come back and we'll get started. All right, so I have my 37 chains. So let's just work row one. First, you're going to start in the second chain from the hook. So we never count this one that's around the hook. We're gonna go one, two, and we are going to work a single crochet into that first space. Then we're also going to work a single crochet into the next chain space. Now we are going to skip three chains, one, two, three, and work into that fourth space. And this is where we're gonna put seven double crochets. We're gonna create kind of a half of a half of a wheel here on the bottom of our blanket. So there's one, two, and I will say that this pattern would definitely be, I would not start a beginner on this pattern. This is definitely something you'd want to try with more ad advanced beginner skills. You're, you're comfortable making shells, that kind of thing. Just, just so you don't get too frustrated. I never like to, um, you know, discourage anybody from a challenge though. So if you think you're ready, try it and always start right here with a practice swatch. So I've got my seven double, uh, double crochets right worked into that one spot. So I'm gonna skip three again. One, two, three. Now I'm going to work a series of three single crochets over the next three chain spaces. So there's one, there's two, and three. And I have a feeling you can guess what's coming next. We're going to skip the next three and we're going to work into that fourth chain and work seven double crochets again. So we'll just kind of repeat this. Get this going. One, two, three, four, I'm trying to get my hands out of the way just so you can definitely see the work of the hook and not, not my hands. Okay, don't worry about that chain getting all, you know, super huge on you. We'll work out the tension. We'll, we'll get it worked out and it'll be okay. Okay, let's skip over. One thing I would, you know, when you get all of those chains into that space, it's real easy to miss this next chain because it pulls tight. So kind of adjust, make sure you're not, you know, missing that to count as one, two, three to skip over. That might make your counting off if you accidentally have pulled that too tight. 
So um, you also are free to use whatever yarn you would like to use. Of course, just um, here again, I'm going to skip over those three. Um, you know, use the hook that's recommended for that for that yarn. But this is really meant for any any type of yarn. I think you could experiment um, with anything. Now this is the second um, Catherine's Wheel blanket that I've kind of designed. The first one I called, I think, Modified. And it was um, just a little bit more colorful than this one. Six, seven. And you can find the link to that pattern. I'll put that in the, in the descriptions. Um, okay, we're almost there to the end. One, two, three, skipping over. One, two, three. Now here's how you're going to end this row. Now we're still going to skip. There should be four chains left. We're still going to skip over those three. And in the very last one, we are going to work four double crochets. Only four double crochets into that last stitch. Okay, here's your first row. This is what it should look like. Now we're gonna add a row of all double crochet. So we're just gonna chain three and turn. And in the pattern, when I say that this counts as the first stitch, I want you to assume that that is what a, a double crochet that's worked into this very first spot. So what that means is that you're going to want to work into this next, uh, the top of the next double crochet. So if you look down from the top of the hook, one, two, three are the turning chains. And then there's that first stitch. And that's what I'm saying. This chain counts as if it was that first stitch. So we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. And just work a double crochet in the tops of each one of those stitches. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here. Let you you know I'll pause. You you keep working on down the row, and I'll come down, come back, and I'll show you how we're gonna introduce the next color. All right, so here is what it should look like when you've got all of those double crochets worked down the row. So before you finish the last pull through of that very last double crochet, I want you to stop. And I'm going to, we're going to work our first two rows with white. Um, and this is all single crochet rows. So I just pulled through, just simply lay the white over the hook and I'm not going to cut this. I'm going to show you how I carried yarn right up the side of the blanket so that they're really is not there are not too many ends to weave in at the end of this project okay so i'm just going to chain one and then i'm going to turn my work and now this time i will work into the first stitch with a single crochet that little chain one does not count as a stitch i'm going to go ahead and work a single crochet right into that first stitch okay and now i'm just going to work down in the top of each one of those double crochets and I want you to make sure when you get to the end of the row to work into the top of that turning chain remember that still counts as a stitch so you will need to work a single crochet into the top of it in order to keep your counting just right so here you go head on down and then I'll meet you back I'm gonna work and um, I'll meet you back after we've completed these two rows of single crochet. Make sure when you get to the end also that you chain one and turn and continue and just work exactly the way back. So this is this is row three and four. All right, so I've worked my two rows of single crochet. And if you want to stop right here and make sure you're on track, you should have 36 single crochets. Now, if you are off on your counting, I want you to make sure that you did work seven double crochets on 
you know, on these half of a wheel rows. That's sometimes where you can miss a stitch and then it messes you up when you're doing your double crochets. But then I also want to make sure that you did work a single crochet into the um, top of this turning chain right here. Okay, so now what we're just simply going to do is before I pull through on the last step of the stitch, I just drop the white and I'm going to pick up the peach. And this is what I call carrying the yarn up the side of the blanket. And then that way, I feel like these ends will just be secure. We're gonna cover them all up with, with the border anyway, so they won't show. So now we are back to working a whole row of double crochet into the tops of those single crochets. So, and just like before, this chain three counts as your first stitch. So that is one stitch. So we're gonna work into this second single crochet stitch right there. And that will be our second double crochet. So go ahead and work all of these um, across the row. All right, so we just completed row six of the pattern, I mean row five of the pattern. We've got all of our double crochets. And again, check to make sure you've got 36, including this um, turning chain. So it would be 35 actual double crochets plus 36 of the chain threes over here. So now what we're going to do, this is row six of the pattern. We're going to chain one and turn your work. And now we're going to single crochet into the first two double crochets right here. Work one and two. And now we're going to chain three, just like this. And now we will be working seven double crochets together across all of these double crochets. So what you do is you yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and just work under the first two loops. And stop right there, yarn over again, work into the next um, double crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, just pull through two, and do this again. We're working into the tops of the next seven. This is what creates the bottom half of the wheel. Okay, so I wanna make sure I'm going really slow on this one so you can see. I'm yarning over, inserting my hook, yarning over, pulling up a loop, yarning over, and still just pulling through the first two. And I kind of, um, you know, give it a little bit, make sure they're turning out even before I pull forward. Here we go. This is number five. One, two, three, four, five. Here's number six. And here's number seven. We have worked across seven double crochets. Okay, and still pull for that last two. Now, here we go. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through all of them. That is seven double crochet together. Now you're gonna close that up with three chains. One, two, three. Now look for that very next double crochet right there and let's work three single crochets into the net, I mean, one in each. One single crochet in each of the next three double crochets. And here we go again, we're gonna repeat that. Chain three and work seven double crochets across the next seven stitches. So I'm pulling through two, Just like that, yarning over, inserting my hook, pulling up a loop, pulling through two. That gets us, just keep going across those seven. 
And this is where I say that you've got to be really pretty comfortable with the hook in your hand and a um, little bit of experience. I would not recommend this for a beginner. Do I have seven? And I'm always making sure I have seven. It's like the, the, the rows that you do with the wheels are the most important to keep your counts just right so that when you go and do your single crochet rows and your double crochet rows, you will um, not be missing any stitches. Okay, so I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna press pause and let you finish out this row and I'll show you how we turn at the end and we'll get the top half of the wheel done. All right, I didn't realize you probably need to know how to finish this row. So we've just worked our three single crochets. We will still chain three and this time we will work four double crochets together across those last four stitches. Three of them are into the tops of the double crochets from the row below, but that last stitch will be into the very top chain of that turning chain. Okay, there's your four double crochets worked together. Now I will chain three and turn. And I like to work we, we've got three double crochets to work and I'm gonna go ahead and I like to work them right into that little hole that formed um, from those chains, you know, from closing up the loop. But you, you, you've, if you don't like that look, you for sure could work into that next one. Either place is fine. But we're going to make three complete double crochets. These are not double crochet togethers. We are completely working three regular double crochets. Okay, then they're gonna kind of lay down across those three chains and we are going to work our um, single crochets into the tops of those single crochets. Now we're going to skip these and we're gonna find the center that center of the hole and now we will work seven double crochets seven regular double crochets so that kind of you're creating the top half of the wheel and again counting is really important on these rows four five six um that's where if i missed a stitch it usually was I was in a hurry or I didn't and I only put six and you need seven in order to keep the counting straight so no chaining three on this row you just simply lay it down look for those single crochets and work your three single crochets all right I'll let you finish working across those next two wheels and I'll show you how to finish the end of this row Maybe you've already figured this out, but after you work your seven, just work your remaining two single crochets into the tops of those single crochets at the end of the row. Now we're gonna work a row of all double crochet across. So chain three, as before, it counts as the first stitch. So work into the top of that next single crochet and into the tops of each one of these double crochet stitches that make the wheel and continue working all the double crochets across the row. You should have 35 plus one of the turning chain for a total of 36 stitches. I'm gonna make sure you keep that number That'll help us keep the blanket nice and straight. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of the row and I'll show you how I'm just carrying that white up the side. All right, that last stitch on the row is going to be worked into the top of that turning chain. Mine was pretty tight. So here we go. I'm not pulling through with peach because now my next two rows are with the white and I'm going to go ahead and loosely 
just kind of estimate the length of the yarn right there to be pulled up that row and then just pull through with it. Kind of work with your tension on there. You don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose. But this is gonna save you on time and actually on yarn, because if we cut that, we'd have to leave a long tail and weave it in. And so just having this white run up the side of your blanket is gonna save you a lot on time. So now I'm just gonna um, obviously chain one and turn. I'm gonna let you work two rows of your single crochet, go back and forth with your white. I'm gonna have you pull through back up with your peach and work one row of double crochet and then I will meet you back and I'll show you how to work the final two wheels because they're just a little bit different um, to get you started than, than these wheels. Same idea but the, the ends start differently. So work your two rows of single crochet in white and get another row of the peach done and I'll meet you back. Now we are to row 12 of the pattern. Okay, so what you'll do is you are going to chain three to turn, and we are going to double crochet across the next three stitches. This one will count as our first stitch. So work into this top of the next one and the next one, and the next for a total of three. Now yarn over and pull through all of them together. You can kind of see how that actually would equal four, which is pretty typical to what we've been, what we've been doing. And now you will chain three and single crochet in the tops in each of the next three double crochets. So one, two, three. Now we will chain three and I think this is gonna look real familiar to you. We're going to work seven double crochets together. Okay, so we're just on the row where we're working the bottom half of those wheels. All right, I'll let you work across this row and I'll meet you at the end. So same pattern as before, I'm gonna pull through all of these. You're gonna chain three, work into the next, work single crochets across the next three stitches and repeat, you know, chain three and do the seven do double crochets together. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of the row. Okay, I've worked my last seven double crochet together. I've chained three, chained three, and you should have two stitches left. One is we're gonna work a regular single crochet into the top of that double crochet, and your other stitch will be that turning chain. So you'll just work a single crochet into that turning chain. Now you will chain one and turn. And right there in the top of that first single crochet, work a single crochet and work a single crochet into the top of the next single crochet. Now we will skip over those three chains and we're going to work, I like to work right into that closed loop and work our seven regular double crochets. So after you work those seven regular double crochets, you're going to work three single crochets into the top of the single crochets from the row below. There's five six, and seven. So go ahead and repeat that across the row. And then I'll show you how this row ends. And then you repeat the pattern. Clear back from row two. 
All right, we're to the end of the row, and what you're going to do is skip over those three chains, and you're going to work four double crochet right into the top of that turning chain. So a little bit tricky that that turning chain always wants to pull pulls a little tight. But let's get your first. Let's just get your four double crochets worked right into there. Complete stitches. One, two. three and four and I think you know what comes next you're gonna go ahead and chain three and you're gonna work your row of all double crochets all across that row okay the pattern pretty much is repetitive now at from going forward I've showed you how to carry your yarn up the side so when we get down here we'll Carry this white up, you'll repeat and get your waves going. Um, the pattern basically repeats, starting again in row two. So that means actually this is repeating row two. We're repeating this row of double crochets and then you'll repeat your two rows of single crochets. Another row here and you'll be repeating this row, you know, on top up there and then go back. So you're pretty much done. That is this modified Catherine's wheel wave pattern, whatever I decided to call it. I'm going to let you go ahead and go to my website and look at the pattern for the border. It's a row of single crochet. And then if you want to, all I did was a half a row of this three single crochets with seven double crochets to form. And then another row of single crochets. I don't think I need to show you that on the video. You'll be pretty experienced by the time you get to that part of the blanket. You'll be like, okay, yeah, I know how to work three single crochets and then work seven double crochets in one stitch. So that's all I did to edge the pattern here. Let me show you that, um, you know, for, for the border. So that's what it is. It's kind of a cute little wave that I put on on the edge and you of course are free to do whatever you would like on the border even just working all single crochet is fine and just making it you know a wide border is fine I did work two single crochets per double crochet rows one single crochet obviously per single crochet rows if this is the side of the blanket the top you won't have that problem because they're all Pretty much even oh well except for on this base row just the important thing keep your stitches as you know evenly spaced as possible orders are no easy task I'll give you that and that's why but if you're doing this blanket you're intermediate and I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to do your border so thanks for stopping by to daisyfarmcrafts.com and um, we will see you again next time